I ain't going to let this that morning go by and not feed you. Amen. Uh, amen. That's what God's put me here for. Amen. You got to, if you've got to livestock and you don't, ever, you, you, don't ever, you don't make sure that they're fed, amen, you ain't going to get much money. Out. They're going to die, amen, but you ain't going to get much out of them when you take them to the market, amen, if they ain't fed. So, amen, uh, the Lord wants to feed us, don't He? Amen. He don't want you to go around hungry, amen, spiritually. Amen. He don't want you to go around and, uh, uh, and, and amen, just starving to death. But the Bible said that, that there's leanness been sent to the souls of men. And you know why that is? Now, most of us, we ain't starving, amen, on, uh, physically. But so many people, they're starving to death on the inside because they don't take heed. The Bible said, how shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto to the Word of God. Amen. That's the, right here is what feeds us. This is what gives us nourishment and strength. Amen. Puts fat on the inward man. Amen. All right. If you've got your Bibles, Jeremiah 23. Amen. I'm going to try to give you what God gave me. Jeremiah 23. Once again, I say I appreciate everybody. Uh, uh, and I know that, uh, uh, that uh, Danny's family does. Appreciate everybody coming last night that did. And uh, Amen. It, uh, that's, that's some of the most liberty I've had in a funeral. And it helps when people's there. And amen. Just praying for you. And, and it, it really helps a lot. So Jeremiah 23. And uh, we're going to start reading in verse number uh, verse number 28. You pray for me. And I'm going to try. I'm just going to preach now. Amen. If it, uh, I'm going to try to. Now the Lord laid this on my heart. and Amen. Now there ain't no sense. Now if, if God speaks to you and, and, and God uh, convicts you, there ain't no sense in acting like it ain't for you. I'm going to tell you. What you ought to do, you ought to pray. Amen. You ought to pray. Now, amen. Now, now if, you, if you'll listen now and take heed to what the Lord's trying to say, God's going to help you. Amen. God's going to help you. Jeremiah 23, help the church as a whole. Let us, amen, come together in unity. That's what we're here for. Jeremiah 23, in verse number 28, the Bible said, The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, saith the Lord? Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. That's all I'm going to read. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I, I thank you, God, for just another a time here to be, Lord, behind the a sacred desk again. And I, Lord, I pray today, God, that you'll anoint me now. I, God, I need that prayer, God, that, I, Lord, only you can give, Lord, just uh, anoint me to preach your word, Lord, and uh, God, I pray that every soul, uh, Lord, that's in this house, that God, that uh, you'd speak to their, uh, their heart, and Lord, uh, uh, that you'd give us what we need. Oh, Lord, feed us now from that table, uh, God, that only you can spread, uh, and it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Uh, God, I pray that if, uh, the one that may be here, uh, God, that's lost and undone, uh, I pray you deal with their heart. Uh, and God, that you'd save their soul. And it's in Jesus' name that we do ask these things. And amen. Now, I want to preach to you today on breaking, amen, the rock. Breaking the rock. Now, the Bible said that Jesus, amen, Peter said that he, brother, is a rock of offense to them that don't believe. And the Bible said that Isaiah, amen, said, sanctify the Lord. Our brother in your hearts, amen, and draw nigh to him. And it said he'll be, amen, a sanctuary unto you. He said, but if you don't do these things, our brother, he'll be a rock of stumbling. He'll be a stone of offense, a friend unto you. Now, if you're lost today, dying and going to hell, amen, you're the, now Jesus is, our brother, a stone of offense, a friend unto you. One day when you stand before God at the very Lord of heaven it's going to be a stone of stumbling a friend unto you so what you need to do is come and get right with God I don't know any other way a friend to put it right now is that you need to be born again but friend by the 
help of the Lord. I want to preach to the church. I want to preach to them that's saved. I'm claiming to be saved. I'm here in the house of God today. And brother, by the help of God, I'm going to try to break up every rock that's in this building. And you say, what do you mean? And well, Isaiah said that God had planted a vineyard had brother on a very fruitful hill. And he said he took out the stones had brother and laid them aside and give them everything they needed had to grow and be plentiful had brother and flourish. Well, that's what God has done right here. Had brother in this church, God has given us everything that we need to grow. Had brother, everything we need. Amen. To be the light and that set up on a hill. And the Bible said, and Jesus said, I am and the light of the world. He said, but I'm going to go away and you are the light and brother of the world. And so that's what we are. That's what we're supposed to be. And but brother, I'm afraid and that as I look out here, and brother, at a, at a vineyard, I look out here to field. That's what this is. And brother, I see stones. And brother, amen. God has showed me that there's some things that need to be broke up. Amen. I'm going to try just to give you what God gave me. Ain't no sense in nobody. I said the preacher pointed me out. Ain't no sense in nobody going home here and saying the preacher done. I preached on me. You're exactly right. And then some of you I'm going to preach on. I'm not because I know who you are, but because God does. And brother, if you'd have it today, I'm going to preach on every one of us and tell us, amen, what we need to do and to get closer to the Lord. I will, brother, those stones up in here in the church that I'm going to try to break up. I'm the first one of them. And you've heard me say it, brother, so many times. Is that pride? Brother, I'm going to tell you one thing. I pride goeth before destruction and a Holy Spirit before a fall. You see, I read about a man by the name of Nebuchadnezzar and the Bible said that he was a proud man. Amen. Oh, he reigned and all these kingdoms and all these provinces. Brother, under his hand and the Bible said that God brought him down, I brought him to Jerusalem, I brought him down to the land of Judah, and he carried him away captive, and the Bible said that he took old Zedekiah, and he put his eyes out, but before he did that, he slew his own sons, right before his eyes, and bound old Zedekiah, with his eyes put out, and took him down to Babylon, I will, brother, you know what Nebuchadnezzar was. He was a proud man. But God said you're an old Nebuchadnezzar. But one day I'm going to bring you down. I want to tell you right now friend, if you've got pride in your life, one day God's going to bring you down. But what I do right now, I just swallow my pride. I let God break you down right now. The Bible said that Jesus said on this rock, I'll build my church. And the gates of I would not prevail against it. But he said, oh, he said, if you'll fall on this rock, you'll be broken. But if this rock falls on you, it'll grind you to powder. I'm glad that one day I fell on him. Yes, he broke me down. But oh, is there not a bomb in Gilead? I praise the Lord. There's a physician, hallelujah, that'll bind up the wounds. Brother, I'm going to try to break you. I'm going to try to, amen, tear you up. I'm going to try to get you up down up into where you're living at. But there's a bomb that'll bind your wounds up. He'll pull all into them. He'll heal you. He'll make you whole. Amen. amen. Well, amen, I'm going to break up the rock by the help of the Lord. That's what I'm going to do today. Amen. Maybe over here in this corner, a rock. Amen, a rock of pride. Amen, maybe over in that corner. Amen, a rock of pride. 
and I don't know nobody's heart. And man, I look out and I see that brother some good people that I have a lot of confidence in. But I know why God, I know that God laid this on my heart. That brother for a reason. Amen. You need to swallow your pride. How you need to get rid of your pride. Amen. Now, here come some singers in. Amen. Now, if they got pride, well, they didn't know we were starting early. I didn't even know they was going to be here. Amen. Now, if they got pride in their heart, amen, they'd probably leave knowing they weren't going to sing. But let's just see what they are. Amen. Let's just see. Amen. Let's just see what they do. Amen. Oh, it ain't about a name. It ain't about, amen, how good you are. It ain't about somebody hearing you. But, brother, I come to the house of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I come to the house of God. I, boy, I feel like preaching. I come to the house of God. I to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. I friends, you better swallow your pride. You'll be like old Nebuchadnezzar with your fingernails grown out. Amen. Oh, so long. Eating the grass of the field. I'm not even knowing who you are. How God could take your mind from you. How God could take your mind from you. How you wind up in a nursing home. I'd rather not knowing who you are. I'm scratching yourself to death. And you better call on God while you still can. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, amen. God broke him down. Amen. Amen. Six things that the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination. Amen. Pride. Pride. Hands had that shed innocent blood. Amen. by murder in here. Amen. And by murder, when I said that, I bet most of you thought about abortion. Amen. Hands that shed innocent blood. But I wonder how many. Amen. Back by man been a backbiter. Amen. Run their brother down. I run their sister down. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you what you are. How God hates your hands. How God hates your hands. And now you say, does God hate them? That's what the Bible said, wasn't it? How that God hates the hands of them that shed innocent blood. How God loves your soul. How but He hates what you're doing. He hates what's coming out of your mouth. I friend, I want to tell you right now. If you you've got a stone in your vineyard if you've got rocks in your garden how you better let God break it up ain't my word a hammer that's what he said ain't my word a hammer how that I'd break up the rock in pieces that's what God's going to do that's what God's going to do he'll break up the rocks if you'll let him amen, amen. y'all just come right in we start service at nine because we've got a burial to go to Amen. Just come right in and make yourself at home. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pride. Amen. You ever been around a bunch of preachers? Amen. For Billy Joe, about four or five of them get on the front pew. Amen. I've seen it. Amen. Just grieves me. Amen. Oh, they want to they wanna say their word about how good they look. Oh, well, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm just going to preach. Amen. No word about how, how loud they can be. Amen. Who can say amen? Like a bunch of roosters. Oh, the chest stuck out. I've seen who can crow the loudest. I've seen who can say amen the loudest. I've seen who can get down and pray the loudest. How you know what that is? That's pride. That's pride. How, but Jesus said, How don't you be like the Pharisees. How about get down and pray. Let me tell every one of you, it ain't about who hears what you pray. Hey, God, Here's what you pray. Uh, brother, amen. Uh, somebody said, I'm not praying all together because uh, we can't understand what we're say- uh, what they're saying. Uh, and uh, you're praying to the Lord. Uh, you ain't a praying to nobody else. Uh, uh, your testimony ought to be, uh, uh, brother, what's said. Uh, uh, not your prayers. Uh, uh, the Bible said, oh, they make long prayers uh, because uh, uh, they want to be known of men. Uh, uh, but Jesus said, when you pray, uh, uh, go in your closet. Uh, uh, shut the door behind you. Amen. Pray. And God that seeth you in secret will reward you openly. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Anybody got pride? Amen. Anybody need to get rid of the pride? Amen. The Bible said for a pretense, they make long prayers. Amen. Great swelling words. Amen. Some people use words. Amen. Ain't nobody knows 
Now I'm just going to preach it. I don't care. I don't care who you are. I don't care how long you've been on the way. How you may know way more Bible than I do. But for right now, I'm going to preach what God gave me. Hallelujah. I'm going to preach what God gave me. Ain't no sense in getting up here behind this pulpit and using them big $10 words and nobody knows what you're saying. Paul said, I didn't come. I with enticing words. But I came to you with power. I came to you with power. I came to you with power. I, brother, I want to feel the power of the Holy Ghost. I want to feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Hey, Amen. I ain't got no great words to tell you. Hey, but I got God. That's all we need. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm just going to break up the rocks. Amen. I'm just going to break up the rocks. Amen. Well, I'm trying to break up pride right now. Amen. I'm trying to break up pride right now. You think you're better than somebody because you didn't do what they did? Amen. You think you're better than somebody because they made no sin that they used to do it's different than what you did? No. No. They none that doeth good. God said they've all turned aside. They've all turned away. They none that doeth good. I no, I not one. I was all in the same boat. I was all in the same shape. I but all oh, glory be to God. I that oh, he loved us so much. I that he brought us out. Amen. He brought me out of the mire. He brought me out of the clay. He brought me out of the horrible pit. That's what he did for you. He brought you out of the horrible pit. You ain't got nothing to be proud of. You ain't got nothing to boast in. And Paul said, well, where is boasting? It's all done away with. I said, but if any man glory, I let him glory in the Lord. If any man boast, let him boast in God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, amen, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, proud man, proud woman. You're going to take your pride right to the grave with you. And you're going to, Amen. And when you get to hell, there won't be none. Won't be no pride in hell. Won't be no pride in hell. Amen. I'm proud of what I've done with my hands. What'd you do with your hands? Amen. Y'all heard me tell this before. Some of you have. Amen. I heard a man. He's a, amen. There was a man. He was an auctioneer. And he said, I've done everything that I do with myself. That's why he's at a church. And amen. That I'm going to be in revival in this week, actually. Amen. And he, he said, he come in. Amen. He come in. He said, he said, I've done everything with my own hands. I've worked for everything that I've got. I mean, I've worked for everything that I've got. And the Bible's heir and the man that told me, he was a deacon at the church at the time. And he said that that man was an auctioneer. And he said he went on for a few years and didn't come back to church. But he come back one Sunday and he come in and he said, will y'all pray for me? I've lost my voice. I can't get my voice back. I mean, you better not boast in what you've done. And because it's all by the Lord. It's all by the Lord. And that's the only reason you care. That's the only reason you got money. That's the only reason you got food on your table. Amen. He's the way. He's the way. Amen. He's the sustainer. Amen. He's the brother Jason. He's the he's the only one. Amen. I, amen. I can. I can get on this. Amen. I can go to the restaurant, give me something to eat. But he's the one that gives it to me. Amen. I may pay for it with money out of my own bill for it, but it's his money. Amen. Amen. Before you hold on that dollar, that ought to go in this offering plate. You better think, think who give it to you. Amen. You better think about who give it to you. Amen. Hallelujah. How do you know what else is in this church? Amen. God's done showed it to me. I, brother, there ain't no arguing with it. Amen. I know it's here. Amen. Envy's in this church. There's envy in this body. But I'm going to try to break it up right now. I'm going to try to break it up. How you look at somebody else and say, oh, oh amen. I wish they'd quit testifying. I wish they'd quit singing. But oh, if you desire spiritual gifts, God will give them to you. Brother, I say, let us all come to the house of God. I wish something on our heart. Not everybody's a singer. Not everybody's vocal. But hallelujah. It's your service. You worship God for yourself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can't get blessed because we're worried about everybody else. Worried about what they're doing. Envy. 
and strife. Hey, brother, I hate it. I hate it. I do. I've seen these good men of God. And, amen. I had the power and amen in my life. And the power to take God, I didn't get mad at them. I said, God, I don't want what they got. Amen. But I didn't say, I wish they quit preaching. I said, Lord, I want what they got. Yeah. Now, Lord, give me a double portion of what you give him. Yeah. Now, amen. Now you say, why do you, why did you want that? Yeah. Amen. Because if there's going to be anything done, and there's going to have to be some anointing, I'm going to have to be some power yeah. in the preach word of God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. So is the hammer breaking anything up? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Is the hammer breaking anything up? Amen, envy, envy, envy. Amen, I wish I had what they had. But the Bible said, amen, covetousness. Brother, it's a sin. Paul said, I've not known. Amen, what the law said. I've not known sin. Except the law said, thou shalt not covet. Friend, I want to tell you right now, don't you look at what somebody else has, but you be content with what God's give you. And brother, if you want more spiritual gifts, if you want to draw nigh to God, ain't nobody hindering you but yourself. I just draw nigh to him. I draw nigh to him. He'll draw nigh to you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You're going to have to come to church more than once a month. Amen. If you want spiritual gifts. Amen. If you're saved, you would. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm just going to preach. Amen. It's been a while since God gave me one like this. Amen, I'm just going to preach it. I know we've had sickness in the church. Amen, I know we have. Amen, and God knows why. I mean, a lot of us was out. Amen, a lot of you was out, and ain't nothing you can do about it. I mean, but everybody here had a, amen, you was out, and there wasn't nothing you can do about it. Amen, but if you're able to go to church, you ought to be in the house of God. Hallelujah. If you're able to go to church, amen, don't envy what everybody else has. I'm going to tell you why they've got it, because they love the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Boy, it's a hammer right here, ain't it? Amen. It'll break up the rock. Amen. It'll break up the rock. It's not my word afar. It'll burn up the stubble. It'll burn up the stubble. Hallelujah. I thank God for this rock. I'm going to this hammer that broke up the rock in my life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hey Amen, you know, I maybe a rock of pride, maybe here. Maybe a rock of maybe a rock of envy back here. Maybe back here at the door, I don't know. Maybe a rock of jealousy. Amen. Jealousy. It's cruel as a grave. It's cruel as a grave. That's what got Saul in trouble. His jealous, old jealous heart. Amen. David had slain, Saul had slain his thousands. But David had slain his ten thousands. Oh, Saul said, that don't sound right to me. I was the one getting the glory. I was the one getting the praise. But now, amen, I don't feel like everybody loves me no more. Amen. The devil ever tell you that? Amen. The devil ever tell you that? Amen. He tells me that. Amen. Amen. Oh, amen. This one's mad at you. That one's mad at you. But I say, get thee behind me, Satan. And if you're really mad, I brother get right with God. I gotta sew up your wounds. I gotta make you fall in love with the old time preacher man. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't be jealous over somebody else singing her. So I can't sing like him. Well, praise God. God's give you a voice. If you want to sing, sing. If you want to sing, sing. Amen. I can't pray like so and so. Uh, nobody can pray like you can either. Amen. Nobody can worship like you can. Nobody can sing like you can. Amen. If God's give you something, use it. Amen. If, amen. If God sent you here, I just to sit there and raise your hand every now and then. Amen. Amen. And pray for the man of God. I then do that with all your power. I do that with all your mind. I, but don't get mad at everybody else for doing what God has told them to do. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know what God showed me this week? Amen. Not anything I've seen now. 
Amen. Just God just revealed it to me. Amen. The unity. Amen. It's a precious thing. Amen. But I can feel it. Maybe you can't, but buddy, I can. I can feel it start to, amen, starting to go away here in the body. Amen. You say, preacher, I don't know what you're talking about. Amen. Well, God's the one put me here to pastor. Amen. God's the one going to get, amen. God's the one give me this message. I mean, God's the one told me to tell you that jealousy cruels the grave. God's the one told me to tell you if we don't love each other, we ain't never going to see God move here no more. I will never see another soul say, we'll never see nobody else come in if we don't love each other. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm going to ask every one of you when this service is over to shake at somebody's hand and tell them you love them. But if you've been talking about them behind their back, you don't love them. Don't lie to them. Don't lie to them. Amen. Amen. People's let jealousy fester up. Amen. They've let jealousy fester up. Amen. I'm just... I'm just going to preach. Y'all might as well pray for me. Amen. It make it a lot easier on you if you say, God, just help me. Help me take it, Lord. Help me because I'm going to preach it anyway. Amen. Lord, just help me take it. Help me move up, God. Help me move up, Lord. And because I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to rear back by the help of God. Open my mouth and let Him feel it. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. It's time to get rid of the jealousy. It's time to get rid of the envy. It's time to get rid of the pride. It's time to break up the rocks and we can have church. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible said, Amen. There the disciples was. And James and John, they said, Lord, would you let us or their mother come down? And said, Would you, my boys, I'd like to have them sit beside you in your kingdom. He said, it ain't mine to give. Amen. All the other ten, they got mad. They ain't tell what the Bible said. They said, he got mad at them because they said, wanting to sit beside the Lord on his right hand. You know what Jesus looked at him and said? He said, he that's chief among you will be a servant. He said, for the Son of Man come not to be ministered to. Y'all know what minister means. And do you know what I really am when I'm behind this pulpit? I'm your servant. Amen. I'm here. Here's what I'm doing. I'm taking the plate around. I'm feeding this and I'm feeding that and I'm serving you. That's what I'm doing. God's prepared the meal. And by the help of God, I'm trying to serve you. I'm trying to serve you. I'm trying to feed you. And if you're hungry, God will fill you up. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I don't want to be jealous of you. No. No. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't be jealous of what somebody's doing. Amen. Hallelujah. I done told you. If you desire spiritual gifts, amen. I know what the devil does. He'll tell you, your pastor don't appreciate you. I appreciate every single soul in here. Amen. I love you. Amen. When one of you's gone, we miss you. Amen. Now you might think that your pastor appreciates somebody else. I mourn he does you, but that's not the case. I love every one of you. I love every one of you. It's time to break up that jealousy. I get down on the altar. I seek the face of God and get right with him. And brother, you'll have joy. 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 Down in your soul. Amen. Amen. Well, amen, pride. I've tried to break that rock up. I've tried to break up envy. I've tried to break up jealousy. Amen. I've tried to do that. Amen. But there's one big old rock. Amen. We got left. And I'm going to tell you what it is it's backbiting. It's backbiting. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ain't it funny? And don't get mad at me. Amen. If you do, it's on you. Amen. But I just know. Amen. I know what I've heard with my own ears. I know what I've heard with my own ears. It ain't here to say. Amen. We can go down to the funeral home and we can love on a family. Amen. I'm not throwing stones at you. I'm trying to break up the stone that's in your life. Amen. I'm not appointing you out. God done has. 
Amen. God that knows. And if there's anybody else in here, Amen, that needs to move up many of these things, brother, you ought to come pray. You ought to come pray. But the Amen, the Bible said, Amen, all them that shed innocent blood, them, Amen, that run to mischief, them, Amen, that cause discord among the brethren. Brother, God hates that. He hates them that sow discord. Well, we can go down there and hug on everybody. I've seen families, brother, they fall out with each other. But when somebody dies, oh, we love you, we love you, we love you. Well, last week you were running our name through the mud. Last week you were talking about to him. Last week you said, I ain't going to church. Because I go to church. I'm trying to break up the rock in your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. You got to love everybody. That old timer. Levi, tell me what that old time religion does. What you do, buddy? It makes you what? Makes you love everybody. Makes me love everybody. Makes me love everybody. I love you because he loved me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I ain't mad at you. I'm just trying to give you what God gave me. Amen. Amen. I, I hate to see pride. I hate to see pride in the church. I hate to see jealousy in the church. Hey Amen. I've seen them preachers. Hey Amen. They're so proud. And it all comes back. All these tie together. You know it. They're so jealous. I've had people fall out with me. Hey Amen. There's a man. Used to come here. I used to. I mean, where he was at, I was at. And where I was at, he was at for a long time. And I can't figure out what in the world happened. Amen. I wish somebody would be man enough to tell me if I'd done something wrong. Amen. But every time I hear his name, he's telling some tale. Amen. And saying, said I stood out there on this porch and told him he wasn't welcome here. That's a lie right out of hell. That's a lie right out of hell. But it all comes back to that envy and it all comes back to that. Amen. I, I don't know what else it could be. How you get mad because somebody else takes a church. Amen. Oh, how this same man said one time, he wouldn't tell me. How but he told somebody else. He said, if that church don't want me, Robbie shouldn't go down there. I wasn't talking about this. One. I remember the church right down the road. That's a bunch of bull. That's a bunch of bull. All that is is jealousy. All that is is envy. All that is is hating your brother. But I want to break it up. And Lord, if it's in my life, break it up right now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to break up the rocks. I want to break them up today. Amen. Get rid of them. Praise the Lord. Amen. If there's any left in pieces, I pray we stomp him in the ground too. Amen. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Amen. Get rid of your pride. Get rid of your envy. Get rid of your jealousy. Amen. Get rid of that backbiting. Amen. Remember what I told you? Everybody in here is going to tell somebody they love them. And don't lie in the house of God. Don't lie in the house of God. Amen. Don't you tell, don't you look in their face. Say, I love you. Amen. You know good and well you don't. Amen. But if you ever get saved, you hear what I'm saying? You ever get born again? How you'll love everybody. How you ever get born again? How you'll love them. How you'll love them. How brother God said, My word's a hammer. It'll break up the rock. That's what I'm trying to do. I say, Bring every rock. I bring every rock. I throw it down at Jesus. He'll break it up. Amen. Praise his holy name. I want to move up, don't you? Amen. Y'all want the truth? Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't want no sugar-coated junk. Amen. We got enough of that. You know what it does? Amen. When you, all you eat sugar. Amen. All you do is just eat that old sweet stuff. Amen. Yeah, you get, you'll get some meat on you. But you ain't going to get no strength. You know what sugar does? It'll give you a little strength for a little while. It'll give you a little strength for just a little while. Amen. Amen. But there's something about that meat. Amen. There's something about that meat. Amen. I can eat, amen. If I, eat a, if I eat a donut for breakfast, I'm hungry by 10.30. Amen. Let me get me some good biscuits and gravy. 
and brother, amen, some bacon and some eggs. Brother, it ain't hungry again till supper time. Amen, hallelujah. When you get to meat of the word, brother, it'll, amen, it'll sustain you. Hallelujah. But it ain't, amen, you'll want more of it. You'll want more of it. I say get all you can. Get all you can. Break up the rocks in your life. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, there's plenty of other rocks. Amen. If you're here today and you ain't where you need to be with God, I'd come and I'd let Jesus break up the rocks. Let me tell you what I'm trying to do and I'm going to close. I'm trying to take the rock of pride and I can't break it. But the Bible said it's not my word, a hammer. And I'll just bring it up here to where the hammer's at. Amen. Place it right here. And I can only do that for myself. I can't do that for you. I can't do that for nobody in here. I can only do that for myself. But if you've got it in your life, if you're proud, if you've got envy, if you've got jealousy, if, amen, if you've got all these things, amen, see, we can, amen, we can say we love each other. But I'm going to tell you what happens why church gets broke up. Amen, it's because, amen, this, this tail turns into that tail, and that tail turns into that tail, and them that, amen, are run to mischief, and them that sow discord. I, brother, they say this, see, I said this about you, and this sister said that about you, I, but before it ever gets to them and gets twisted, I, God help you if you're doing that. I, God help you if you're doing that. Amen. Oh, you're a liar. That's what you are. I don't know if there's a soul, I, brother, in this church that's a doing that, I, but I know that God laid this on my heart, and I'm a trying to break up every rock in this building. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hey Amen. I want to. I want to be what God would have me to be. I want to be what God's called me to be. I want to be. Bible said, "Walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called." God's called every one of us to something. He's called every one of us to something. Hey Amen. He has. And I thank God for that. Hey Amen. I thank God for where He's put me. Thank God for where He's put you. Somebody say, "Well." I know how the devil is. I know. And I'm, hey man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down in a minute. Hey, I know how he is. He says, they don't love you no more. You better find you somewhere else. That's how he is. That's why some pastors have quit. That's why people in the pews have quit churches. The church don't love you no more. You better find you somewhere else. Amen. Our pastors ought to have enough backbone, ought to have enough strength, ought to be, a, amen, be strong enough in the Lord that they just let that go by. Amen. But there's people in the pews. Amen. It's, amen. They're saying, oh, they don't love me. How the pastor don't love me. I'm going to tell you why I dig you up. It's because I do love you. And I want you to be right with God. And I want, amen, you to be fruitful. How the Bible said, how that God had this vineyard in a very fruitful hill. He said, but when I looked at it, all I got is amen. I just a little old bunch of fruit. God said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tear down the hedge. I'm going to let briars. I'm going to let thorns grow up in that place. Amen. You know why some churches is dead? God's let thorns and briars grow right in the place of what used to be flowers. What used to be fruit. You know why? Because they let stones come in the vineyard. They let rocks. You know what a stone does? Hey, man, it, I don't want to put it. The Bible said not to put a stone of stumbling in front of your brother. You know what a stone does when you got it in your life? It makes you stumble. It makes your brother stumble. Hey, man, it makes your church stumble. Hey, man, but all oh, is not my word afar, saith the Lord. And a hammer that break up the pieces. Amen. Here's what I've been doing this morning. Amen. I've been taking this hammer and I've been hammering on the rock. Amen. I've been hammering on the rock. And I'm going to tell you what to do when the rock gets broke up. You just go to the rock. Amen. You just go to Him. Amen. Oh, amen. Who do men say that I am, Peter? Amen. Some say Elijah. Some say John the Baptist. Yeah, who you say I am? I say that thou art the Christ. 
had the Son of the living God. Our flesh and blood hath not revealed this to you, Simon Bar Jonas, but it come down from heaven. He said, and upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell. And it don't matter what you say against the church, the gates of hell ain't gonna prevail against the house of God. Hey, Amen. I ain't talking about every church, but I'm talking about the church and that's on the rock. Amen. 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 Gates of hell ain't gonna prevail. The gates of hell can't do nothing with it. Amen. Amen. Somebody get a song this morning. Y'all come on, get you a song. Amen. You come here and we're gonna let you, amen. We're gonna use you. Amen. Get you a song. Amen. The gates of hell ain't gonna prevail. But I'm gonna tell you what this hammer will do. It'll break up your pride. It'll break up your envy. It'll break up your jealousy. It'll break up your strife. It'll break up your back It'll break up all them things that's, amen, hindering you and causing you to hurt your, amen. Now, if we love each other, we don't hurt each other. That's right. Amen. Amen. I've been, praise the Lord, I love everybody in here. Amen. You, ever, you say, preacher, you ever get aggravated with people? Yes. I mean, not, I mean, I mean I've got aggravated with some of y'all. Praise, I mean, I'm going to tell you the truth. I have. I get, I get aggravated with some of you. Amen. I love you, though. I love you. Amen. I love you. Amen. You know what aggravates me the most? Amen. When people say they love the Lord, but you don't, don't see no fruit in them. Amen. I, don't, I hate, it aggravates me. Amen. But I got to think back to there's a man on, that died on Calvary that loved you. That loved you. Amen. I lo- Amen. I, I, I love you. He loved you more, so much more than I can know. Amen. Love you so much more. Amen. I get aggravated with people in the workplace. I mean, it's, the flesh get aggravated. But amen, I've got to swallow that and seek the face of God and love everybody. And love everybody. Amen. If you, amen. you act like things don't ever aggravate you, well, you just don't go nowhere. Amen. You just don't care about nothing going on. There's things in this world that aggravate me. Amen. There's things in this world. I mean, there's sin out there. I hate to hear somebody. Amen. Amen. A cussing and all this and all. Amen. That ought to aggravate us. That ought to make us mad. Amen. But uh, praise the Lord. We still gotta love them. We still gotta love them. We still gotta pray for them and love them. Uh, yeah, rebuke their sin. I'm gonna tell them there's a way out. Amen. Anybody want to come get some rocks broke up? Amen. Amen. I love every one of you. Amen. But I was going somewhere with that. Amen. There's been times. Amen. I said, I wish so and so would do this. I wish so and so would do that. Amen. I wish they'd do this, do that. I said that. Amen. I wish they'd quit this, quit that. About people that I care about. I have. Amen. Not because I was mad, not because I hated them, or not because I hate them. I, I love them and I was aggravated. Amen. But I'll tell you one thing. You're not saying anything behind somebody's back that you can't save their face. You say, have you done it, preacher? Oh, me. Oh, me, I have. Amen. But praise the Lord, I've got a God that's a forgiven God. I've got a God that's a forgiven God. Amen. I want to, uh, amen. I, I'm, glad he's a, I'm glad He'll break up the rocks. He'll break, y'all keep on singing. I'm glad He'll break up the rocks. Anybody else got some stones? Anybody else got some stones? God, here's a hammer. It's, it'll break it up if you let it. It'll break it up. It'll break, ain't no shame in this. Ain't no shame in this. Amen. It's not my word a hammer. I'm glad it is. I'm glad it'll break up the rock. I'm glad that it'll, amen, it'll take care of whatever your need is. I believe somebody else needs to come. I believe somebody else needs to come. Amen. Swallow your pride. Swallow your envy. Swallow, you know what everybody's problem is? Oh, he really burnt him up. He really burnt him up. Praise the Lord when God's are speaking to you. Hey, amen. It's, it's, it's you that God's are burning up. The preacher ain't burning nobody up. It's a hammer that's a breaking the rock. Anybody else? Anybody else want to come? Anybody else want to come? If you're here and you're not saved, I'd come right now. I'd come get right with God. You know what all these saints of God's are doing? They're coming up here because they love the Lord and they want to get closer to God. Amen. Oh, amen. You say, preacher, it's amen. Is it, is it a hard way? Is it a hard way? It's the best way I've ever known. Amen. But oh, it's a repenting way. It's a praying way. If you're here today and you're not saved, won't you come get on this way? Won't you come get on this way? Amen. Let God help you. Let God save you. Amen. If you're here today and you've been living in sin, God wants to save you. God wants to help you. God wants to forgive you. 
Anybody else today? Anybody else need to come? Anybody else want to pray? Amen. I feel like somebody else need to pray. I do, I do. Amen. Somebody else want to come? Amen. Save, lost. Amen. The Lord's so good. He's so good. Amen. He, he, if, he, if He didn't love us, we'd all went to hell. And you see, He'd have been just to do that because we was all sinners. But He loved us. And He loves you enough that He wants to break up the pieces. He wants to break up the pieces. Amen. I love the Lord today. Amen. Thank God for, the, for what I...